uh, take us through the different emotions that you feel on a, on a day like today where you make it official and, and kind of make this announcement. Yeah, it's been a busy couple days, you know, obviously doing the whole announcement in Brandon, Kelly McCurman, who's, uh, you know, believed in me since day one, since the day he drafted me, um, having the uh, opportunity to, to announce my retirement in Brandon, um, you know, just comes full circle for me. So glad that... Uh, and very honored and humbled that um, Krim was, w w uh, you know, allowed us to do that. You, uh, you played a lot of good, hard years in this league. If you look back on the way you think you might be remembered, what do you think it'll be? Yeah, it's been a uh, 20 years have flew by. Um, you know, a, a kid growing up in Nunavut, you know, I, I was a far stretch to ever make it into the NHL and. Uh, you know, having grown up with an older brother who I idolized and uh, was my mentor, you know, kind of gave me all the, the right tools to persevere in life and uh, and do whatever it takes. And, you know, growing up in, in an isolated community, you got to become mentally strong. And ultimately, that's what has driven me to uh, to become a pro and, and to, to be a everydayer and, uh, and to have a career. So. You know, I think ultimately it's it's about being mentally strong and 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 having you know, in order to succeed in life, you're gonna fail. Uh, it's about getting back up on your two feet and, uh, and and getting through it. Jordan, you've had quite the support in the Indigenous community, and now obviously uh, a local guy, uh, Ethan Bear, is also in the Oilers organization. What kind of inspiration do you kind of hope to provide to the next generations, uh, being one? Of the yeah, you know, I I feel that. You know, I've owed my life to this game and, and to the Indigenous population. I, I've, uh, I became the first Inuk uh, to ever play in the National Hockey League, in the National Hockey League, and uh, for me to give back to our people, my people, is, uh, is the right thing for me. And, and at this point in my life, I, it feels right. And, um, you know, I'm going to do whatever it takes to, to create a inclusive uh, workmanship uh, you know I take what I've learned playing hockey and uh, and bring it into the corporate businesses and uh, and show them that you know it doesn't matter where you come from you know playing hockey we got Russians Swedes Finns Canadians Americans the one goal we want is is winning and when we're in that dressing room we all know that and you know I believe that in our communities we we can bring that to the table what's the next chapter of your life going to involve well, right now it's uh, being a father. We uh, have two beautiful, healthy babies, Sienna and Avery. Uh, so that's first and foremost. Uh, you know, I have the lovely wife Jen, who's been supporting me since day one. Uh, we've gone through a lot of ups and downs. So right now, I'm gonna take the next few months to uh, to soak it all in. You know, I'm walking away from the game at peace with no regrets. What's the best memory of all of you done on the ice? Becoming the first Enoch to ever play in the NHL, October 9, 2003, versus the, the Anaheim Ducks. Uh, and, you know, obviously, David Poyle and Barry Trotz given me the best gift of my life, and, uh, and that's, you know, when I entered rehab. I've been sober now for almost eight years, and uh, it's given me an eight more years on my career. So, you know, I couldn't thank David Poyle and Barry Trotz for... Uh, for giving me that uh, that gift. You jammed a lot into a career. Uh, you know, you you got in fights. You scored big goals. You you had your alcohol problems. You came over the overcame them. Uh, if you could change anything, would you change anything? Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't like I said. I don't regret anything. I, I'm very grateful for everything that I've gone through. It's made me the person I am today. And uh, you know, I, I can honestly say. Looking back on my career, I've done everything that I, I wanted to do, and uh, and and even more. I get got to be a lot around a lot of great hockey players, and you know that brotherhood is going to last a, a lifetime.